Watch you guys got another video. Will your PC support Windows 11 24H2? This is the uh, ways to install Windows 11. You can see Windows update settings recommended. This is for people that have supported hardware and other ways to install Windows 11 not recommended. And there used to be a piece of text here for a registry edit that you can add, but Microsoft have now removed that from their website. They are not enticing you to install this on unsupported hardware. It says it's not recommended and you still need to stick with the Windows 11 requirements. If you go to their website, they will clearly state the hardware requirements that are needed to uh, put Windows 11 onto that computer. Although it says that you can install it on unsupported hardware, it's always not recommended as listed on their website. You can see the processor that is required to run Windows 11 is listed here. They have a compatible 64-bit processors list for AMD and Intel and other CPUs listed on their website. We'll take a look at that in a second. But you can see here memory, 4 gigabytes or greater, storage, and there's also some uh, other settings like UEFI and Secure Boot compatible and trusted platform module, which is TPM 2.0. And we'll go into details about who can install Windows 11 24H2 and who can't a little bit later on in the video. So if you check the Microsoft's website, it will give you a full extensive list of CPUs that are supported for Windows 11. Now 24H2 has other certain criteria to be able to run this on some older systems that aren't supported some cpus on that list will not work and they will not boot and we'll talk about that also a little bit later on if you look in the list here there's a long list of cpus for supported amd processors and intel processors and also the qualcomm uh, processors as well so if you've got a really old computer and you're looking to keep that PC running for the foreseeable future and upgrading to Windows 11 once Windows 10 reaches end of life in October 2025, then you also need to make sure that that computer is still compatible with Windows 11 24H2 because some CPUs are just not supported. You can also check the PC Elf Check app and this will tell you whether you have a compatible computer for Windows 11 and you can run through this and just download the application and it will tell you whether your system is suitable for Windows 11. If you are rocking a old computer that is not supported, some older computers can install Windows 11 on that computer but it will be what we call unsupported hardware and Microsoft do not recommend that you do this. As it's clearly stated on their website right here, the PC does not meet the minimum system requirements for running Windows 11. These requirements help ensure a more reliable and higher quality of experience. Installing Windows 11 on this PC is not recommended and it may result in compatibility issues. If you proceed with installing Windows 11, your PC will no longer be supported and it won't be entitled to receive updates. Damages to your PC due to the lack of compatibility aren't covered under the manufacturer warranty by selecting except you acknowledge that you read and understand this statement. They haven't changed their stance on unsupported hardware and they haven't changed uh, their system requirements to install Windows 11 on unsupported hardware. It's always going to be, if you have unsupported hardware, Microsoft are recommending that you don't download an upgrade to Windows 11. If you download the latest version of Windows 11, it's going to be Windows 11 24H2. And this version has other features built into it to stop really old CPUs from working on Windows 11 24H2. So if you have a really old computer, maybe 15 years old or older, it's not going to run on Windows 11 24H2. And the reason why is because Microsoft have put in a thing called pop count, which basically stops these PCs or these CPUs from actually booting up. So if your PC or your CPU doesn't support SSE4, then it's not going to work with Windows 11 24H2. The pop count is an instruction that happens if you have a really old CPU inside that PC, 
which some people may have a 15-year-old or 18-year-old computer and they still want to use it because maybe they're surfing the web or looking at YouTube or whatever it is they're doing on that old computer, it's not going to run, uh, you know, Windows 11 24H2. So how can you tell whether your CPU is compatible? First, you need to check the CPU compatibility list to see if you have a proper uh, you know, PC that is supported with Windows 11. If you have a really old computer and know it's not supported, but you want to know whether it supports 24H2, then you can download CPU-Z. It's a free program that will tell you uh, what uh, sort of CPU you have in that system. So let's go ahead and open up CPU-Z here, and I'll show you what to look for on your CPU if you're looking to install Windows 11 on that system. So the instruction set for Intel CPUs, the processor needs to support SSE 4.2. You can see it on the instructions list right here on CPU-Z. If you've got an AMD CPU, it's SSE 4A that is required. These instruction sets help enable compatibility with the latest version of Windows 11, which is 24H2. If you don't see either SSE 4.2 or SSE 4A, then your CPU is not supported and it won't boot and you won't be able to install Windows 11 24H2. And that is it. If you have an older computer that doesn't meet the hardware system requirements for Windows 11, but it does have the SSE 4.2 for Intel processors, or it does have the SSE A, and it does have some form of TPM on it, like TPM 1.2, you may still be able to install Windows 11 on it, although it's not advisable because that's what Microsoft claim that it's not advisable to install it. You can see here CPUs over 15 years old and unsupported hardware are most likely to be affected. All modern systems support pop count, and you can see here all listed out here. I've tried to make it as clear as possible because some people are getting confused. This is a new requirement for Windows 11 24H2 that is put into place by Microsoft. It's called Population Count, and basically if you have a, a over a 15-year-old CPU in there, it's not going to boot. It won't work. Now, that being said, if you have a computer that has unsupported hardware and it does have those listed, which is the SSE 4.2 or SSE 4A, then yes, you can use the bypass method and install Windows 11 on it, although Microsoft do not recommend you do that on that system because at any time, Microsoft could stop security updates for that computer and that would leave you vulnerable. So certain PCs cannot install Windows 11 24H2 because of the pop count and some PCs that are on unsupported hardware that do support those things that we talked about earlier on, they can install Windows 11 24H2 on those PCs. But again, it will be unsupported hardware and you do run the risk of not receiving security updates on that computer in the foreseeable future. If Microsoft want to enforce, you know, no security updates for unsupported hardware in the future, they haven't done it yet, but it's not to say they won't do it in the foreseeable future if a ton of computers on unsupported hardware start installing Windows 11. Anyway, I hope this has made it a little bit more clearer for you. Microsoft haven't changed their stance about Windows 11 system requirements. They are still exactly the same as what they were when they set them, and they are not recommending that you upgrade to Windows 11 on unsupported hardware because you run the risk of not receiving security updates in the future. That being said, if you've got an old computer and it's running Windows 10 and it has unsupported hardware, your options are you either buy a computer, uh, a new computer, or you make that computer compatible to fit the hardware requirements that Microsoft uh, need, or you use unsupported hardware bypass methods to be able to install Windows 11 on that system, which is not recommended by Microsoft. If you have a really, really old computer, over 15 years old, then you're not going to be able to run Windows 11 24H2 because of the pop count that they have in place on that system. 
If you've got any more questions, leave them in the comments section down below. I'll try to answer those questions for you if I can. My name is Ben Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. If you're wondering where the Discord server is, it's deleted. I'm not running that Discord server anymore. Anyway, have a lovely weekend and I'll catch you in the next one.